Typically, this is why I hold up the program and say something funny, but I'm not going to do it today. Instead, I'm just going to do this. I'm not typically the biggest fan of classical musical theatre. You know, that 1920s, 1930s, very showbiz, glitzy, Broadway glamour type of musical. There's been, like, very few that have, like, really appealed to me. I've kind of warmed up to, like, 42nd Street, but if there was one that has completely sold itself to me, Crazy For You is that musical. This reworking of the classic Gershwin musical Girl Crazy has kind of reimagined the story and has dived back into the entire songbook of George Gershwin and Ira Gershwin to create a kind of new musical. And do you know what? It really works. But what exactly worked for me about Crazy For You? Let's find out. But if you haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Ellie. I talk about theatre. I do reviews, I do discussions, I do video essays, and if any of that sounds interesting to you, please consider hitting the like and subscribe. It really helps me out helps out the channel. But let's dive into this musical. I was surprised how well this new story works for this musical. It feels like a really nice blend of modern and classic. The plot surrounds Bobby. Bobby is uh, working in a bank because of his mother, but what he really wants to do is perform. He is a fantastic dancer and he lives for the stage. However, he can't get his foot in the door and instead has to go to this small town in Nevada and shut down this old theatre that they have. However, the second he gets there, he meets Polly and completely falls in love with both her and the theatre. So he pretends to be someone else in order to put on one big show to save this venue. It's a simple plot. It's cute. It's effective. It's a mistaken identity plot and we've seen these all over the place. However, what this musical has going for it is its extremely funny book. I was very taken aback at how witty it is. It is completely full of one-liners and every single one is downright hilarious. I love how the plot unfolds and it makes for a really entertaining watch. It's simple enough that it can kind of jump into these big glitzy musical numbers as classic musical theatre does, but also doesn't feel like it's pushed aside. It's given its moments to show how extremely funny it is. It's a great book. I'm going to make a weird comparison when it comes to the music of this show. And I and I don't know if people are going to find this as fair as I kind of think it is, but I think it's kind of fair to say that this is a musical theatre jukebox musical. <laughs> and I say that with the fact that this musical is comprised of different George and Ira Gershwin songs that have kind of been put together and kind of picked at the best ones and put into a new musical. Similar to how a jukebox musical is formed by taking an artist's work, picking up their best stuff and putting it into a musical. Is that a fair... Is that a fair comparison? And I think it works in a similar way to a jukebox musical, where this really works as a celebration of the best of their music. You have all of these classic songs that you're gonna know a couple of. You're gonna know songs like Nice Work If You Can Get It, Embraceable You. But I think why it works really well here is that the style of classical musical theatre is very much leaning into, yeah, we're just gonna break into a big musical number here and it's just gonna happen, go with it. There'll be a slight turn of phrase that they say and they're like, oh yeah, Bob's your uncle, whip de doo time to sing a song about it. And then they sing a six minute big number about Bob's your uncle, whoop de doo because they love it so much. And they're singing that from the rooftops and going, and then they're gonna do a whole tap number, you know, that's the style of classic musical theater. <laughs> These dance numbers just kind of come up and flash up and, you know, that's the beauty of classic music theatre. You just go with it because it's so entertaining. You're like, oh, they're singing for no reason. But you know what? I love it because they're, they're having fun. <laughs> so despite being quite an odd idea, it works. The songs feel very musical theatre because they've all been written in a very musical theatre style. It's Gershwin. That's musical theatre. That's musical theatre. That's musical theatre, baby. And... 
credit where credit is due, they are put into the score extremely well. As someone who hasn't seen Girl Crazy, I can't really tell which ones were designed originally for that show and which ones were put in from other George and Nira Gershwin work. It is safe to say, the score's a lot of fun. It's fun. It's classic musical theatre. If you love a bit of classic musical theatre, that classic style of big glitzy bam in your face musical theatre style numbers, this show has it in waves. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> But, if there is one reason you come and see this show, if there is one reason I can give you to come and see this, it is the choreography. Because, oh my god. It feels like this show is constantly one-upping itself with its dance numbers. You start quite small, you start with the folly style where they come out and just walk in with the big glamorous costumes and you're like, wow, this looks incredible. Wow, I love it. Big claps, I love it. And then you move on to Bobby and his solo dance number with the Follies girl. And they keep building and building it up with more chorus girls coming in. And Charlie Stemp really gets a show of his talent. And then you move on and we go into the town and we get the big ensemble dance numbers like Slap That Bass, I've Got Rhythm, Stiff Up A Lip. Every single one is so fun, so big, so full of energy and tap and different styles of dance. It's phenomenal to watch. It, I think it is safe to say that this, this, this right here is the dance show of the summer. And on the Gillian Lynn stage, this pretty big stage, it is completely filled with this beautiful choreography that if this does not win the Olivier for best choreography, I do not know what will. Let's talk briefly about the design of this show, because I really enjoyed a lot of the aesthetics of it. I wish we spent some more time in the 1920s inspired setting, because it is beautiful. Just look at the pre-show stage. The proscenium. Oh, the 1920s decal. It is stunning. Stunning. But we leave this location quite quickly to go into the town of Dead Rock. And it could not be any different. The entire, like, prosumum kind of flips around and feels very, like, Western. It's very, like, if you think of that style of, like, Western film. You know, like, the Cowboys style town? You know, like, made of wood? That. That. You know, you've got your, you've got your little, um, weedy th tumbleweed. <laughs> tumbleweed. You got your tumbleweed going across, you know, you got your old saloon. Yeah, it's very much that style. So it creates this really nice contrast from the original setting that we started in. And this contrast is even more built up with costumes, with these absolutely beautiful Follies costumes that they have. And they're kind of like really bright colours when they finally enter the town, contrasted to like the kind of more dull colours of the townsfolk. And that is a little simple thing, but I love a little bit of contrast in your costuming. And I love bright colours. I love bright colours. I'm like, I'm like a baby. You put something bright and colourful in front of me and I go... <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the cast. Charlie Stemp. Charlie Stemp. This year is going to be very tough for best leading actor performances. There have been so many, like, really good musical performances. But, oh my god, Charlie Stemp is, is a contender and a half. Honestly, give him the Olivier now, and I'd be fine with it. I would be fine with it. His charm, his comic timing, his dance ability, he performs at a phenomenal level in this musical. He is on the top of his game, and I didn't know how he could personally one-up his performance in Mary Poppins for me, but he does it. His character gets so much to do, and Stem performs it all to the best of his ability. From his impersonation of Zandler, to the fantastic tap sequences that he does. Spinning around that stage like it's nobody's business. He is an absolute star. A star, and there is no denying it. He is paired with love interest Carly Anderson, who plays Polly. 
And I really loved her performance. She's very headstrong. She equally gets some really great moments to show off her dance ability. And I really loved her vocal performance. Someone to Watch Over Me is such a lovely song. I really enjoyed it. It's a lovely solo for her. And then there's Tom Eden, who plays Bella Zandler, who doesn't really pop up until Act 2 properly. And the fact that he's only in Act 2, and his performance is still one of the biggest highlights of the night, just kind of proves the impact he makes in such a short amount of time on stage. His performance as Zandler is hilarious. And paired with Charlie Stemp, they are a comedic duo for the gods. There's some really fun supporting performances in this musical as well. Leah Anderson as Vera, Marilyn Cutts as Bobby's mother, who's very overprotective and dismissive of every single love interest that he has. <laughs> Rena Fatania and Sam Harrison as Patricia and Eugene, who kind of pop up as like a little side comedic piece. And you know what? I kind of love it. <laughs> and obviously a massive shout out to this entire ensemble who make this choreography, which is extremely difficult, look easy. Crazy For You is a glitzy, glamorous celebration of a musical theatre from a time gone by. With stunning choreography, beautiful design elements, a cast that is completely on fire, a story that's really funny. This is one of the hottest tickets of the summer, and with a show like this, who could ask for anything more? But what do you think? Have you seen Crazy For You? Have you seen Girl Crazy? Let me know. I keep going to call it Boy Crazy. I've probably called it Boy Crazy at some point in this review. Let me know all of your thoughts on this musical in the comments down below. If you did enjoy this video, please consider hitting like and subscribe. It really helps me out helps at the channel. Here's some links to my other videos on the screen right now and a link to my Instagram if you want to drop me a follow over there. But that's it for me today and I hope to see you next time. Bye.